Happy Saturday, friends, and welcome to another edition of Meet Me at the 313 Gorilla Kitchen. It is a beautiful Saturday here in North Carolina. I hope, first of all, you're safe and you're healthy and you're well in the midst of all this coronavirus stuff that is going on. So you may have saw a sneak preview yesterday of what we're going to be doing is we're going to be smoking some spare ribs. Now, doesn't that sound good to do on a beautiful spring Saturday here in North Carolina? So let me show you what we've got. The smoker is already warmed up. And I'll show you what we've got set up. I'm going to pull these bad boys out. Let these get close to room temperature. Now check this out, folks. Doesn't she look a beauty right here? So our method is with these is we put brown sugar, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of chili powder, and of course some maple syrup because we want this to be as sweet as we can as possible. So what I've done with the smokers, I set up the smoker as um, as we did, and if you want to see how I did it, we did the menu method, and we did it back in one of our previous videos on when we did the barbecue pork shoulder. So go back to that website, look how you refer, or that show rather, how you set up this uh, the smoker arrangement. So we're going, to, our grill is warming up, we're going to put these on, and then just a little bit we'll come back, and I'll show you how we do the, uh, the barbecue sauce, because there's a way you've got to do these ribs if you want these to be sweet and juicy as they can be. So stay tuned folks, there's more to come. Well happy Saturday friends and welcome to another edition of Meet Me at the 313 Gorilla Kitchen. It is a beautiful Saturday here in North Carolina. I hope first of all you're safe and you're healthy and you're well in the midst of all this coronavirus stuff that is going on. So you may have saw a sneak preview yesterday of what we're going to be doing is we're going to be smoking some spare ribs. Now doesn't that sound good to do on a beautiful spring Saturday here in North Carolina? So let me show you what we've got. The smoker is already warmed up. And I'll show you what we've got set up. I'm going to pull these bad boys out. And let these get close to room temperature. Now check this out folks. Doesn't she look a beauty right here? So our method is with these is we put brown sugar, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of chili powder, and of course some maple syrup because we want this to be as sweet as we can as possible. So what I've done with the smokers, I set up the smoker as, um, as we did, and if you want to see how I did it, we did the menu method, and we did it back in one of our previous videos on when we did the barbecue pork shoulder. So go back to that website, look how you refer or that show rather how you set up this uh, the smoker arrangement. So we're going to, our grill is warming up. We're going to put these on, and then just a little bit we'll come back, and I'll show you how we do the uh, the barbecue sauce because there's a way you've got to do these ribs if you want these to be sweet and juicy as they can be. So stay tuned, folks. There's more to come. So as you see, we just got our ribs on and they're looking really delicious. I cannot wait to try some. So what you want to do now that they're on the smoker, you want them to let them cook about four, four, to, uh, four, four and a half hours. They don't take that long to cook, so we're going to let them cook a couple of hours. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a rub, another rub, and you got to apply this rub every 30 to 45 minutes. So it's basically apple juice, brown sugar, and some of my homemade barbecue sauce. And if you like to know some of my homemade barbecue sauce, just refer back to one of the previous videos we made a couple of months ago on the pork shoulder. So first thing that we're going to do, I don't have my tripod so we're going to do it 
manually because I didn't realize this was going to be done right this instant. I'm going to take what I'm going to do. You can do this in set, uh, two different ways. We're going to heat it up a little bit. We don't want to heat it up too much because we want this to be used throughout the time of cooking. So you want this to be as sweet as you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cup of apple juice. I'm going to take a quarter of a cup of of our brown sugar about a quarter of a cup there we go, a little too much got a little too much in there but we can just always double the size of the apple juice. Add it a little bit, but which is fine. We'll make it work. We always make it work here in the kitchen. And just a little bit of that extra. There you go. And we're going to take some of my homemade sauce. We picked up last night. Take about a quarter of a cup. You don't want a lot, but there you go. I'm fine with that. Mm. Alright. I'm sorry my camera view is not good right now, but there we go. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to heat it up as I mentioned. So in about 30 minutes, we'll come check on that, and then we're going to keep on applying this. So what we want to do, I'm going to turn it on and heat it up just a little bit. And this is going to be the basis, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just giving it a quick stir. I don't know if you can see it or not, because I don't have my tripod. I'm going to just give it a little stir. We want the two to come blended well. Let me find out how this is. Mmm. Pretty good. I'm gonna let that warm up just a little bit. Mmm. I'm gonna take that back. So one of the other things we're gonna do is say, so this is what our solution looks like after the fat. You won't want to rub these every 30 to 45 minutes after the first hour. So we're going to let them cook for about an hour. We put them on about 20 minutes ago. So about 2.30 we're going to come apply this rub. And then we're going to apply it every 30 to 45 minutes afterwards. You want to keep these. And we're going to keep cooking them until the meat has shrunk and it's no longer pink on the inside. So we're also going to do some pinto beans or black eyed peas. Stay tuned. Okay, folks, so I just checked our ribs. They are looking and coming along nicely. They smell good. I cannot wait to dive into these rolls. I mean, sorry, ribs. I don't know what I'm thinking, rolls and ribs. They both start with an R, but what do you know? <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to make some black eyed peas. Now, I don't know if we've ever done black eyed peas on the show, but I, again, I forgot my tripod, so don't mind that chunk of ice. That chunk of ice is actually chicken broth. So we're going to use homemade chicken broth as our stock to cook it in. Uh, what you want to do is you want to, you know, let your black eyed peas soak for a couple of hours, which we've already done that this afternoon. And the only two ingredients we're going to add, we're going to add some salt, add a little bit of salt, and some pepper. Add a little bit of pepper. Oh yeah. Then we're going to add a little bit of seasoning in here. Take a 
little bit of that. We don't want a lot, but that would be do. Give that about an hour to hour and a half to cook. I'm going to give that another stir. Kind of get all these rich flavors combined for some southern style black eyed peas. Alright, and we'll let that cook. We've also got over here, which we have done several times, is some of our favorite collards from down east from close to where I grew up. Gardner's Barbecue Collards out of Rocky Mount, close to where I grew up. So folks, in just a little bit, we're going to find out how our spare ribs done. I can't wait to dive in, so we'll find out. Alright folks, our ribs are about ready. Man, they look good. Now you want to do, we're going to get them inside and we're going to let them sit about 10 to 15 minutes and tenfold because we want to absorb the juices. So we're going to get inside and let's get these things wrapped up and we'll be ready to eat in a few minutes. Alright folks, it's been the 15 minute mark. Look at that. This looks awesome. Let's find out how we did. Let's find out how we did on these bad boys right here. Mmm, they fall right off the bone too. Let's find out. Oh my gosh. Falls right off the bone. You got that sweet apple juice and all of your flavors, the rub we made yesterday, and all everything coming against too. This is probably the best barbecue I've done yet. If you'd like to know what I've done, let me know. I'll be happy to tell you. This has been Patrick in 313 Grilling Kitchen. Happy grilling. Enjoy this beautiful Saturday evening and stay healthy and God bless. All right, folks, here's our moment of truth. They've been sitting out for about 15 minutes. Find out. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Mm. Hi, Bo. Oh, hey, Bo. You got me, Bo. We're doing ribs. All right, let's find out our ribs. Tell them bye. No! Folks, see what's up?